Hey everybody, welcome back. You know, it, uh, life sometimes, I like to say it's, it, it's crazy. <laughs> I, I guess that's a better way to put it. But it's in that craziness, we need to breathe more. Slow down your breathing. And take long, deep breaths. Sharp left onto I-76. That's where you're going to look for Jesus. Isn't it amazing that some people cry out to Jesus only in the good? Some people only cry out to Jesus in the bad. When we combine those two, and we connect those two, and we make those two as one... It's kind of like that that gene, you know, that spiral. You, you can't have a ladder without the steps. If you're missing one, you're probably going to be like trying to figure out, eh, not so bad. But if you're missing two or three and you got to get up there, going up may not be the challenge. But coming down may be the challenge because you may be tired. You may be wore out. You may be just looking at life going, where am I? You know, the step out in faith, you know, I struggle sometimes. I think about, I don't concentrate on the bar, but I do think about tomorrow. I think about doing what we're doing and, you know, the daily walk in life. You know, but you look at God will provide in the meaning, in the time. You know, there's going to be times where we're going to go through rough times. But go into Thanksgiving. It could be financial. It could be sickness. It could be, uh, I don't know, a uh, car broke down. It could be anything. Whatever, whatever your mountain is. See, Jesus said we could call out and we can walk in faith and believe and trust and say it. And we move that mountain. Now, it may not happen. Boom. There it is. It's done. It's, it's, there's the solution. A gold brick falls from heaven. It may not be that way. And it could be that way. It clearly can just lead right into place what needs to be. So, as you go through all of this trials and you go through these events in life, where are we? Are we that connected with it? You know, it's scary sometimes. It's scary sometimes You know, because a house divided cannot stand. And it it gets difficult. You know, you you get to a point where you go, man, I feel like I'm alone. See, that's what the devil wants. You know, the devil wants a lot of disrespect. And these our children are growing up in a satanic realm that is just swallowing them up. I mean... You know, there, there, there's so many signs that are seen way beforehand. But again, prayer. Just keep praying, just keep praying, just keep praying. And that's the best advice I can give you. Just keep praying. You know, that's why if you ever wanted to look at the Bible, look at Scripture and go, why is that pathway so narrow? Because of what we live in. What we allow. Your kids are going to grow up. If we raise them the best as we could possibly raise them, it's up to them to decide. But it doesn't mean we don't stop praying. I, I still pray for my children. I do. Even though they see me as how they see me and can believe the things that they believe. It's hurt. That's the most hurtful part of it. Because, you know, when you lay everything on the line for your children, I mean everything, I took more garbage 
than I've ever taken in my life, people, to make sure them kids were taken care of. And for them to believe what they believe sometimes, you know, you look at it and go, wow. But then I, I thank God because I pray daily, take out of my life anything that is not good. So if he removed this, I have to accept it because I'm asking him to do it. You know, and that's how it works. I mean, unfortunately, sometimes it's not going to be the be- the way that we see it. But he knows best. Our goal is to speak about Jesus, talk about the things that nobody wants to hear, and to keep moving. Keep moving. It's, it's amazing. It really is. Life is just that roller coaster ride, I guess. And as you look at that roller coaster ride, you think to yourself, going, huh, is there ever going to be a change? Well, you know, eventually. You sit there long enough and any good amusement park, Carney, knows they got to build and build it and build it and build that, that, that moment. And then they act like they're going to release it and then they look at you, they get you all excited and they interact with you. And then when you're at least not expecting it, bam, they do you take off out of there or you bungee straight up in the air. It's predictable. But is it? Because if it was predictable, would we sin? If it's predictable, would we go through there? You know, good example. I've been going out doing some bidding and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I bid accordingly to where I believe it's a reasonable price. And I look at it, how would I want to be treated? I look at it as it's my own place, so I'm going to do do exactly what I would do at my own house. Now, there's some things that when you bid, see, I look at God and go, huh, you know, he gets you there, and you look at the chains of events that happen, the why you're in a particular place. But I think sometimes, like, even on that, you know, it's people see what they want to see. And that's what the devil does. He convinces you of things. So either way, we just walk on this journey. You know, I I remember a while back Darlene and I was talking about rooms in heaven and I said man you know people don't even realize how many books alone that it's involved with you not just the book of life but you got different books in heaven with your name sins good deeds things you lifted up the man deceiving things which is sins but it's still them you also have a room of gifts. When you receive man's approval and you seek it, willingly seeking it, I mean, you're going out, you, you, you ever work somewhere and you see them people when the boss comes around or the higher up management and you're making yourself be seen. You don't think that they know that. You don't think that you're hurrying up on production lines and, and getting everything done and You get to go home because, and they'll still pay you, and you're working harder. All you're telling them is you're capable of putting out that many product in a day, and you're just not doing it. Then what happens to the day you don't feel good? What about if you woke up with a head cold? You know, that, that thing that disappeared when the big bad COVID came in. Don't say that, Nelson. Don't say what? COVID? 
It's everywhere. It's on signs. It's on billboards. Why can't I say it? Code words. I will not use code words. I will not. YouTube can ban it. I don't care. The world's banning God. So why not? It would make perfect sense for YouTube to ban everything. But fair is fair. There's commercials on there, on YouTube. I've seen them. They lock us down. What do you think's coming? I mean, seriously, what do you think's coming? I just, it's amazing. We were on YouTube last night, and I watch a lot of YouTube. So, uh, you know, because of the pickers and all that kind of stuff, you know, I I, I don't know. I, I've, I just like watching that stuff. The vintage you know, stuff, the, there's a new one, this uh, guy has a toy store, and, and, you know, vintage toys, which I love, the He-Man, the, you know, Star Wars, and Battlestar Galactica, just starts to show you how your age gets if you understand any of this, most people understand Star Wars because uh, Evil Disney came back out, and I, I believe tore it up. I, I really do. I, I really believe uh, yeah, I don't know. I, there, there's a couple of them that I like. Um, I don't like the fact that Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, uh, I, I think it, it was crap. In The Last Jedi, I really think that was by far the, the crappiest thing. You know, I expected Luke Skywalker to come back in this last Jedi to train the Jedi's, you know, you see like Obi-Wan Kenobi type stuff, you know, but he did, you know, it was like a big letdown. And it's like, I'm glad I didn't pay to go see it, but I actually got the DVD because, you know, if I ever want to watch the whole Star Wars trilogy going all the way down, at least I have it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think some of it they went way out there. I think some of it they went off more of the books and went in there. Where am I going with all this? Glad you asked. That's how the devil is. Very convincing. Some may like it, some may not. And he knows it. Why? Because of life. You ever notice you end up in a place in sin? Because it's the sin you like. You have to understand when we go around seeking man, where does it end up? No good. We get praised by man, that's all you're going to get. No, I don't know. I want God. I want to be pleasing to God. And you know, I know a lot of people say, you know, I want to hear, well done, my faithful son. I, I don't even need to hear that. I just want to see that smile on our Lord Jesus Christ's face. The one true guy that is a living king, the son of God. Three quarters of a mile. You can't say that, Nelson, because Jesus and God is the same person. God just became flesh. What kind of nonsense? I mean, give it up. Give it up. People, please stop sending me messages and stuff and telling me that God and Jesus is the same. Because I'm telling you right now, he is part of God. As he says, I am made in the image. God made him the image of himself. So if we, we have, would never have any questions of what God looks like. Go through the Bible and you show me anywhere in there where Jesus did not mention his father, my father, my father, my father, my father. That's all I'm going to say. Believe what you want to believe. I don't care. But stop. You don't have to send me a gazillion messages on it. It's it's really tiring. I mean, honestly. It's like, good grief. And so you, people believe, I guess. And a lot of people do. But my thing is, you know, it's like people say it's so hard to figure out. I'm like, how's it hard to figure out? 
the world was created. He's the living word. So he went and all things was created through the word. He is the son of God. Even when Jesus was baptized, he said, this is my beloved son. Now, why would Jesus, if he is God, the father and the flesh, why would he come over himself? And how could he do that? How would that even be possible? Unless he's two people. Two. Not one, two. You'd still have to be two people. Well, maybe the spirit. Well, if the spirit left him, then... I mean... <laughs> they, I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's, it, it's like, what in the world? It's, some days I just... I think about this stuff. You know, and I go... Let it go. Clearly, the Bible speaks it. If I'm not speaking what the Bible speaks, then I could say, question something. But clearly, it's in there. You could go all the way through. The book of Isaiah speaks of Jesus Christ coming before Jesus Christ even came. We don't speak of Jesus. Shh. We speak of Jesus in church. Shh. Taboo, that word, Jesus. Taboo. We love using God's name, oh. Oh, God. Why? Oh, God. Bring damnation on my life. God, you miserable person. God's fault. Everything's God's fault. Where are you? Why are you leaving us like this? <laughs> Good question. Maybe we haven't suffered enough to really find it. But anyways, go back and watch some of these videos where I talked about this food shortage. We would start hearing about it. Last night, there it was. Darlene looked over at me and I looked at her and I'm just like, there it is. There it is, right there. Right there, playing in front of you. produce is going to, you know, the, the dairy, you know, the, and the Lord told me, the Lord Jesus Christ, the living Christ, the Son of God, told me, when you hear, tell them again what I've spoken. So I'm telling you again, they're going after the, they're going after the food sources, people, to control us. Milk, cheese, ice cream. Well, uh, big deal. Just like Darlene said, well, maybe they'll use goat. And I said, eventually, they're going to figure out what people are doing and they're going to go after that. Can you imagine one more year? I mean, we're only in June. We still got six months of this year. I mean, but if you think about how fast that went too, it's like a blink of an eye. I mean, we're already six months. So now... You figure you got another 12 months after this year. So, eight, six, 12, eight, yeah, 18 months. 18 months a lot can happen. You know, you go back to those buckets, you go back to these things, and I'm telling you people, it's, um, it's crazy. You know, I've, I've, we walked around the flea market a while back, and I noticed a lot of people, it was strange, but then it, then I thought about it going, you know, a lot of people are selling guns out there, bow and arrows, but you know, the bow and arrows crossbows and all this stuff was selling faster and people were flocking to the bow and arrows over the guns and it made sense to me because weird thing is in that vision dream thing I had about the New York the flooding taking the woman and the, and the child and then grabbing the other child along the way I had a bow and arrow 
lots of arrows. Okay, you may say, well, hunt food out there, whatever. But it's the fact, too. You see someone far enough coming, and you're a good shot. You can take them out very quickly. And you may say, Nelson, this is, this is crazy. Well, in the end times, it's going to be crazy. You think that people are coming, that people are going to destroy everything. You don't know chaos until you see fearful people. When you see people of fear, that's when we're going to have a problem. People breaking in your homes. What if you're there by yourself? You think they're going to spare any mercy on you? They may leave you living. But if it's the end times, you will live. How much can you go through? Why not find Jesus now? Speed limit reduced ahead. I don't know. It's, it's going to get Speed dark, people. Reduced ahead. We're, we're about to enter Turn into right a time in life street. that we've never seen. And it's our own fault. It truly is. I'm telling you. And I know people get upset by this. But it is truly our fault. We we allowed the, the, the schools, the politicians, we allowed every God to be removed. You know, we have to watch how, how we talk about church. You know, they're trying to shut the churches down. And if you think I'm, you think this is nuts, I'm telling you, it's coming. Wait, t- wait. When this starts unfolding, you're going to go back and go, my gosh, why didn't we listen? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. In three quarters of a mile. Turn it's sad. It really is. Street. You're watching children, young children, learn about adult toys. And why do they even call them toys? I mean, it's, it's, it's sick. You know, because you think of toys and you're like, oh, it's okay then. It's okay what we call things. No, it's not. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's all over TVs. It's all over, you know, television shows. And, you know, the one with Kevin Costner, the TV series, you know, I, I caught one at, at a truck, at a, uh, truck terminal that I was at for a company and uh, holy moly people I'm telling you right now disgusting I, I've, ne- I've never been so disappointed in Kevin Costner's movies and shows that I, I was a big fan of Kevin Costner until I watched that nonsense and as far as I know he also claimed to be a Christian and I'm not judging him I'm just judging the fruits why would you even be a part of that? Then you get Kirk Cameron. I wish I wish I'd see more of him. I wish he would do more of the Left Behind series. I wish he would come out and do his own shows and stuff. Awesome guy. I mean, really, truly, somebody that stands up for God and refuses to be in any garbage and, or do just to take something, but look at how God provides for him. He also does like motivation, not like motivation speaking, but he does like... Uh, conferences and stuff like that. I've, I've actually watched a few of them. Really intelligent guy. And honestly, I, you know, thank God we got people like him. Seriously. You know, Fireproof. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Awesome movie. It just makes you think. You know, I, I grew up, not grew up, but I, I mean, in a way I did. Watching Growing Pains. And, you, you know, even thinking then, you know, he, he kind of stood out from people. You know, it was uh, just really good guy. But anyways, uh, I'm getting ready to get to this place. And hopefully I can get this place wrapped up this week and see what else they got and keep moving. But I'll do a video on the way back. I uh, did a short one because I had to stop and get fuel. Turn the first ride on to didn't want to do the two-part thing but anyways thank you guys for this journey and being here and your support and just god bless you guys you know 
it's time for us just to stay together and stick through this. Love you guys. Have a blessed week, day, whenever you watch this. May blessings fall upon you. May the Lord keep you safe. Until the next one.